This is Juanita McDowell from In Motion. Today I want to give you a critical outlook tip all users must know, and that's how to back up or copy your Outlook mail, contacts, or any other data. I mean, let's face it, many of us have built our businesses around Outlook. We store critical business information that if we lost it, we would really be in trouble. In fact, some of us would be out of commission for a while. So, what I want to do is teach you how to back it up. I know we archive our files. A lot of us do that. But that leaves it on our computer. And what if something happens to our computer? What if our hard drive fails or any other disaster? If that happens, we, we really need a backup copy. So, what do we do? Well, first of all, we're going to grab a thumb drive or a CD. I use a Toshiba, which has plenty of space on it, like 600 gigabytes. You don't have to invest in this. It would cost you probably around 50 to $100, depending on where you buy it. But if you want to really be safe, it's a great idea to have something like that. So let's get started and let me take you through the steps on how you're going to go about backing up your file. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open Outlook. Then we're going to go to File, Data File Management. We're going to select Personal Folders. And we're going to say Open Folder. Okay, now if you're like me and you have your Windows Explorer configured not to show the extensions for known formats, then what you're going to do is look for Microsoft Office Outlook personal folder files. So let me just kind of extend this out. This is what we want. We want anything that says Microsoft Office Outlook personal folder files. So that would include this. I'm going to hit my control key. I'm also going to get this one as well. And those are the two files that I want. I'm not concerned about that. That's offline. So those are the ones that I want to select. And I'm going to find a place for them. And like I mentioned before, I actually have my Toshiba external hard drive. So I'm actually just going to copy these files. Um, and in this case, since I've selected them, I can drag and drop them to the Toshiba. And that's going to start the copying process. And that's going to take a little minute. So we'll be right back. Okay, now that we backed up that file, we need to restore it. So let me show you how to do that. Go ahead and open Outlook from the File menu. Let's go ahead and give that a click. We're going to select Import and Export because remember what we're trying to do is we have an external device that has our data files. And what we want to do is import those into our Outlook if we have to restore it. So select import from another program or file, click next, and what you're going to do from here is you're going to highlight personal folder file PST extension. Click next. Now you're going to use the browse button to select the backup copy of the PST file that you want to recover from your backup location. So remember that I put mine on the Toshiba. So if you put yours on a thumb drive or a CD, certainly that's where you're going to find it. I'm going to go ahead and go to my Toshiba, see if I can find those files that I moved over there. And there they are, those PST files. And so there they are. I am ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and select my personal folders and I'm going to say open and that is the file that I want to import. Make sure that the option that you select is replace duplicates with items imported. And once you do that, say next. And that's where you want it to land because you have a backup copy, which is really, really cool. So go ahead and click finish and you now have that backup copy moved over to Outlook. 
that uh, is a trick that I hope helps you out a lot. And just remember to try to do it at least once a month.